Biden administration said that they want to directly address anti-Semitism and these protests. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Let's talk about it. Outside UCLA's landmark Royce Hall this morning, little remains of the pro-Palestinian protest encampment. Police making more than 200 arrests early Thursday morning after moving in with overwhelming force. Demonstrators, many of them in hard hats and gas masks, appearing to resist. How do I feel? I've never felt more proud of myself or my community. In recent weeks, protest actions spreading across more than 60 campuses. And yesterday, a scary scene at Portland State University. Video showing a car driving towards a pro-Palestinian protest. The driver then appearing to spray pepper spray toward the crowd. I'm over here muted. Did y'all see them throwing stuff at the driver? Did y'all see them throwing stuff at the driver? I thought that these were supposed to be peaceful protests. These ain't peaceful protests no more. Now they throwing stuff at the driver. That's crazy, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me back up for a minute. Palestine seen at protest actions spreading across more than 60 campuses. And yesterday, a scary scene at Portland State University. Video wait, 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 wait. Who is this old man with the bad knees? Why is the old man with the bad knees running up on people? He's supposed to be in the house watching After Hours or the Millionaire Morning Show and getting this game. Yo, anybody that's running like, like that, he running like he got flip-flops on and he got shoes. There's no reason for him to be running after that car. 60 campuses. And yesterday, a scary scene at Portland State. And he a white man. Hold on. Action spreading across more than 60 campuses. And yesterday, a scary scene. That's a whole white man at Portland State University. Video showing a car driving towards a pro-Palestinian protest. And the, the dude, look, look, look. The dude that threw the, the, the bottle or whatever, he missed the car and he threw it over there and he hit somebody else in the... See, this is what's wrong with y'all. University. Video showing a car driving towards a pro-Palestinian protest. The driver then appearing to spray pepper spray toward Facts. the crowd. Portland Facts. State Police say a man was detained on a mental health hold. Meanwhile, there have been 30 arrests of protesters at Portland State. Police... Dawg, look at what they did to Portland State. They spray painted, they destroyed destruction of property. Man, this is not peaceful. You know, I actually looked up some stats and I did a little bit of research. Maybe I'll pull up that video shortly. I looked up some stuff and they say that more than half of the people that's arrested doesn't even go to these universities. The majority, though, the majority of the people that is out here causing the chaos, the destruction, that spray painting, that's destroying these campuses, these are, are man, these are people that are causing anarchy and they just, they just messing up stuff. And they, and they influencing y'all and they incentivizing y'all to do all of this dumb stuff. And they destroying the places where y'all supposed to be learning at. Jesus Christ. Clearing its graffiti-filled library. Call up the library. Early this morning, across the country, at the epicenter of the protest, demonstrators gathering outside the home of Columbia University's president. Just days after the raid on the school's campus, documented on newly released police body cam footage. Flashbang over! Showing police breaking into the occupied Hamilton Hall and going through the protesters' setup, including a board with the slogan, Political Power Comes from the Barrel of a Gun. Jesus Student Christ. Hold on. This is insane. Including a board with the slogan, Political Power Comes from the Barrel of a Gun. The countryside surrounds the city. Um, what else it says? Attack when your enemy is weak and you are strong. Good God. What is wrong with these people? Worse is lethal force. Best is breach something. Is this, is this Does this sound peaceful to y'all? Does this sound like people that you want to sit there and have a conversation with 
Or does this sound like an agenda? This sounds like an agenda to me. This don't sound nothing like a peaceful protest or they trying to get visibility into an issue or they trying to have a conversation. This sounds crazy. This literally sounds crazy. Student activists say the NYPD's response was excessive. People were nothing but peaceful. The NYPD chief of patrol defending the police, writing the actions of the protesters were an abject failure of how civilized people are expected to behave in society while continually acting like a perpetual victim. And officials have said outside agitators were among the demonstrators. Of the 282 people arrested at Columbia and the City College of New York, the NYPD and mayor's office say nearly half were not affiliated with those. Y'all got people coming up in here, getting y'all expelled and tearing up y'all school and y'all following behind them. Plants, so stupid. Schools, by NBC News' count, more than 2,100 arrests have been made nationwide. And it don't matter if y'all just gonna let them back out on the street without any kind of repercussions. Now, as the NYPD moves into NYU, there's also a question about who should be paying for all of this, both the law enforcement uh, response and the cleanup. New York Mayor Adams has said he believes Columbia University and other private institutions should be paying for at least some of this. Here at UCLA, which is a public university, there are estimates that just the law enforcement response over the past two days alone could be in the multi-millions. Should Everybody get in the bag. Everybody running it up. Anyways, let's see what the perspective is towards Biden, because he's finally speaking on this, especially during election season. It's all a distraction. President Biden's comments on the demonstrations came on short notice and carried some political risk for him, especially among younger voters. Ed O'Keefe is at the White House with more on the politics of these protests. Ed, good morning. Now, when y'all say that they stormed the Capitol, y'all wanted to hold them Hold them accountable, right? I ain't got nothing to say. Let's talk about it. Tariqa, great to see you. Happy Friday. After weeks of saying little about growing protests on college campuses, the White House says President Biden decided to speak out in the wake of more violent clashes with police. There's the right to protest, but not the right to cause chaos. President Biden appealing for calm as even more campus protests are cleared amid concerns about violence, vandalism, and the postponement of graduation ceremonies. There should be no place on any campus, no place in America for anti-Semitism or threats of violence against Jewish students. A longtime supporter of Israel, the president also pressured its government to ease humanitarian suffering in Gaza amid months of war. But when asked if the protests would lead to changes in U.S. policy, the president said simply, No. And that's what upsets so many young protesters, like these students up, gathered you? just four blocks from the White House. He's calling for order. If we want to have order, if we want to have peace, we need to end this ongoing genocide. Biden is pathetic. I think he is a hypocrite, and I do not plan on voting for him, even though I was helping organize for him in 2020. And that depressed support deeply worries Democrats, who fear lower turnout among younger voters could help former President Donald Trump. The likely Republican nominee this week faulted Biden for not speaking out sooner. He's also been critical of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's handling of the war, but is no fan of ongoing protests. And on Thursday, he thanked police officers for stepping in. I'm so proud of the New York's finest. Uh, they're, great. they're great people, too. I know so many of them. They're incredible. They did a job at Columbia. And likewise, in uh, Los Angeles, they did a really good job at UCLA. Now, some Republicans have urged the National Guard to be sent in to deal with protesters. When asked about that yesterday, President Biden responded, no. Well, hey. let's, let's get oh. President Biden's perspective about this whole thing. It's no point in just listening to the reporters. Let's see what he had to say about it. Thank you. We're going to go live now to Washington, where President First, Biden is giving his remarks right on what we hear is the campus the unrest. Let's take a assemble listen. and make their voices heard. The second is the rule of law. Both must be upheld. We are not an authoritarian nation where we silence people or squash dissent. The American people are heard. In fact, peaceful protest is in the best tradition of how Americans respond to consequential issues. But, but, neither are we a lawless country. <clears throat> we are a civil society, and order must prevail. Throughout our history, we've often faced... I don't like it when people cough like that. Because it's not really a, a covering. 
Like, the way that you're supposed to, you're supposed to do this or you're supposed to do this. This way or this way. But when I see people do it this way, they're like, <laughs> you know you're not covering nothing, right? You're not stopping nothing. Even when, <laughs> and there's nothing worse than people that sneeze in your direction. I could just take your, mm. Moments like this because we are a big, diverse, free-thinking and freedom-loving nation. In moments like this, there are always those who rush in to score political points. But this isn't a moment for politics. It's a moment for clarity. So let me be clear. Peaceful protest in America. Violent protest is not protected. Peaceful protest is. It's against the law when violence occurs. Destroying property is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Vandalism, trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. Threatening people, intimidating people, instilling fear in people is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Dissent is essential to democracy. But dissent must never lead to disorder or to denying the rights of others so students can finish the semester and their college education. Look, it's basically a matter of fairness. It's a matter of what's right. There's the right to protest, but not the right to cause chaos. People have the right to get an education, the right to get a degree, the right to walk across the campus safely without fear of being attacked. But let's be clear about this as well. There should be no place on any campus, no place in America, for anti-Semitism or threats of violence against Jewish students. There is no place for hate speech or violence of any kind, whether it's anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, or discrimination against Arab Americans or Palestinian Americans. It's simply wrong. There's no place for racism in America. It's all wrong. It's un-American. I understand people have strong feelings and deep convictions. In America, we respect the right and protect the right for them to express that. But it doesn't mean anything goes. It needs to be done without violence, without destruction, without hate, and within the law. You know, make no mistake, as president, I will always defend free speech. And I will always be just as strong in standing up for the rule of law. That's my responsibility to you, the American people, my obligation to the Constitution. Thank you very much. Mr. President, have the protests forced you to reconsider any of the policies with regard to the region? No. Thank Mr. you. Mr. President, do you think the National Guard should no. intervene? No. He's so old. He's so old. But, 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 we got to be objective here, guys. We have to be objective here. And what does that mean? That means that we have to say that we agree with him. He hit every single point on the head. There's nothing that he said that I can disagree with. He said, listen, we're not trying to si silence people. We're not an authoritarian uh, country. And it's important for people to be able to free, you know, utilize their free speech in order to get their rocks off. But you got to do it within the, within the confines of the law. You're not going to be up there disrupting other people. You're not going to do it outside of the bounds of, of what's legal. And you got to be able to, to, to maintain a level of decorum and not interrupt classes or other people. And so I don't disagree with him at all. Not one thing that he said uh, do I disagree with when it comes to protesters and people out here antagonizing the police and it got to be dealt with uh, 100%. So in a rare occasion that I actually agree with Biden uh, and I'm objective and that I don't believe that people should be able to just do what they want to do when they want to do it, he, had, he hit every single point on the head but it goes against his, his constituents and the people that say that they support him in the presidency. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, shout out to uh, that statement and that speech. Uh, I agree with it 